Nearly three months have passed since Nagaina mated with the village male. It's now the end of May, and she'll soon be ready to lay. Most species of snake seek out a cavity or an abandoned burrow in which to lay their eggs. But not Nagaina. King cobras are the only snakes that build a nest. It's a unique skill that allows Nagaina to select the perfect spot to give her young the greatest chance of survival. On a slope, near the base of a tree, her nest is shaded from the hot sun. But more importantly, it won't get waterlogged by the monsoon rain. She's been hard at work for more than a week now. Coiling her body, she steadily amasses fallen leaves and twigs, drawing them together into a pile. It's a delicate process that could take a couple of weeks to complete. The rustling leaves attract attention. A rat snake on the lookout for rodents rummaging in the undergrowth. Approaching the lair of a snake killer is a dangerous mistake. But with an abdomen full of eggs, Nagaina has zero appetite. She has only one thing on her mind. At last, the nest is ready. More than a foot high and three feet wide, it's a masterpiece of engineering. Inside, Nagaina creates a small chamber in which she lays a clutch of up to 40 eggs. Once covered with more leaves, the chamber will stay at an almost constant 80 degrees and 90% humidity for the next three months. Her work complete, Nagaina stands guard, a queen on her throne. She won't budge until her babies are ready to hatch. The mongoose and wild boar that roam this forest would love to feast on her eggs. But they'd be foolish to try. Nothing is going to challenge this mother when it comes to her babies.